the display module has a backlit display and various LEDs, for monitoring the status of the control unit. It also has several buttons that allow the user to control and program the control unit. The engine start button will operate, only in manual mode, the start button controls the startup, with a single push after the safety delay pre-programmed, the lit LED, indicate that the engine started. At the same time, the start sequence LED indicates engine starting process. Pressing the stop button initiates the engine stopping procedure, with a cooling time of 120 seconds. If the button is pressed two times causes the engine to stop immediately without waiting for the cooling time. Or generating an emergency stop alarm. Alarms reset button. Notification acknowledgement by the user of numerous alarms that may be present from the engine, or alternator. LED flashing means that, pending notification alarms can be cleared. Lit LED means that there are, active alarms, when alarms are present can only be cleared after the solution of the malfunction. Fuel transfer pump button. When the genset is equipped with an external fuel tank this button activates the fuel transferring from the external tank to the internal tank. In manual operation of the fuel transfer pump, the pump is activated if the fuel level is below the programmed limit. Lit LED, the fuel transfer pump is active. Manual mode. The fuel transfer pump is activated by pressing the diesel transfer button when the fuel level is below the maximum deactivation threshold. Automatic mode. Manage the fuel transfer pump by monitoring the minimum and maximum activation thresholds. Combined mode. The combined mode of the fuel transfer pump manages the fuel transfer pump according to the automatic mode, but also allows activation by pressing the diesel transfer button. Manual activation is limited by the maximum deactivation threshold pre-programmed in the controller. Auto button, pressing one time the user selects the auto or manual working mode. Pressing the auto or man button for 5 seconds activates the locking mode. This control unit state is indicated by the flashing of the LED auto working mode is currently active. To deactivate the working mode lock press for 5 seconds to allow the normal operation of the control. Navigation buttons described as follows. The green button with the letter V works as validation to enter menus and confirm the data entered. To cancel press the red button with the X. To leave the menus and cancel the data entered or return to operation mode. The triangle facing up with the plus is used advance through the selection on display screens, or increase the values in the selection on the maintenance menus and increase the programming settings. The down button with the minus go back through the selection on display screens, the selection on maintenance menus, and decrease the programming settings. The status of the CEM7 control unit is shown on the display, allowing access to different display menu options using the up and down navigation buttons we can access all the different information screens, the information is available for different user levels.